What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have Stranger Things character Steve Harrington from Stranger Things. I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil, er a pencil and an eraser. Sketch it out, sort of hit pause if I go too fast, right? So take your time. Use that pause button to make things easier on yourself, right? So this is like from season four, volume two, part two. When he's got that ax and stuff. And I'm gonna put the ax in just behind his shoulder. So standard portrait, head kind of up here, center point of my page about there, and we're gonna come up and start with the eyes over here. If you like construction lines and all that kind of stuff, you can do that before following this sort of detail section of it, the tutorial. You know, if you're one of these people that likes drawing the circle with the lines and all that. So it's a standard portrait, you could do that if you want before I start. And then follow, follow along like that. If not, if you like just drawing things straight, let's go. So eyes. Center point of my page here, up over to the right, and we will go. We'll go diagonal. And we'll go diagonal and across the top. Right. And sort of down the back, right? So we're going sort of semi realistic kind of eyes, right? So, right, you can thicken up the top eyelid just a little bit. You want it to be a darker line than the rest. Then, so this will come down into here. Like so, and then the tear duct will come around here. Like so. Now, if you want, you can leave that gap between those two lines, or you can join them together. Sometimes I like to leave the gap. But maybe I'm just looking at this one. Oh, I think I'll leave the gap. And we'll add the tear duct sort of in here. So you could join them. But I don't know, sometimes it just works better. No, I'm going to, I'm going to join them. We're going for it. Right. And then iris and pupil inside. So he's like kind of shocked. It's like a, it's a scene where he's like looking forward, like real wide eyed, right? So you got this circle. For the iris just coming around there and the pupil pretty much in the middle so then coming out we got some like eyelid lines coming down across the top he's frowning pretty heavily so the eyelid line is like pressed on top of his eyelashes so it just comes out the sides like that. And then we got his eyebrow, right? So we'll go sort of, it goes, we'll go this way and then add some more. So we'll go like a spike like this and then we'll bring it back down there. You can add some sort of hairlines, you know, some extra sort of texture lines at the front. And then you'll add a bit that we can sort of add some color. So we'll just go back this way and then down like that. And if you want some hair down there as well. So you can shade it. You can shade it like dark black if you want or wait for your coloring and do it brown. You got options. We always got options. Right, so we'll go over and do the other eye. So eye width, roughly, you can probably fit an eye in between. Just about, it's pretty tight, but we'll go up. 
and then we bring it across. Same sort of thing, and then down this way. And you want to thicken this up a little bit. And then we got the bottom and the bottom on this side. And so it starts to come around here. And again, you have the option to leave a gap. But I think in this drawing, I'll go the whole way. Sometimes I leave the gap, sometimes I don't. Like so, right? And then his iris, again, like nearly what he's real wide eyed, like nearly a full circle coming down from the top. Like so, and then the pupil in the middle. And some extra details, so he's got like an eyelid line coming down there, goes across the top because he's frowning pretty heavily. Like so, and then the eyebrow again, just here, goes this way. And then spikes down the side of his head. You can add some texture here. And then we'll add a spot that we can colour in. Like so. Right, so we might have some lines just coming around his eye just here, you know, these kind of eyelid lines, textures kind of. And maybe just inside here for his nose. kind of bridge of his nose kind of lines like this kind of stuff. Line for his nose just there. So then the actual nose, so we're drawn in sort of like we get the nostrils, sort of the nostrils are about here. Let's see you got these nostril lines. Right, and then these will kind of come across the middle. He's got a he's got a fairly pointy nose, right? So it comes down. Like so. And then we'll just kind of bring the nostrils around here. darken up the actual holes of his nose like that and like maybe I'll just a light line for the tip of his nose just there okay like so Could have some lines coming down just from the nose here, just coming down beside his mouth, like so. So his mouth is kind of open, right? So we've got like the center line for his mouth. So we we'll go, we we'll go this way. We we'll go up, and then it kind of curves down in the middle. back up and then back down here you 
and so the open section just curves around here then so it go around like so we just add a shadow in the corners maybe like you can see some teeth but not a lot maybe like a line coming across here All right, so then it's top lip, so it'll go, so mouth open, so then top lip, but just up here. Down like so. And then bottom lip. So how big is his body? Oh, relatively. So we'll go down around here. And then maybe just like a shadow for his chin just there. And the line that comes down from the nose, maybe. Just add some. Texture lines and things. Right, so that's the features of his face, right? And if you'll notice, eyebrow to bottom of the nose is about the same as bottom of the nose to say where his chin would be, right? So his chin, he's got a kind of a relatively square chin. So we'll go just across here. About there. So you see here to here is about the same as here to here. And then bottom of the nose to the bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin. So here to here, about the same as there to there. That's kind of your proportions of the face, right? Once you get that, then you can go for his jaw, which will go up the side of his face. Same on the other side. Right, like that and about mouth level and underneath the edge of his eyebrows see there's your vertical where you stop and then across from the mouth that's where you change direction for his face it starts to curve up right so it'll start to go this way and same on this side right and here, roughly, is where we meet sideburns, right? So, and cheekbones. So, cheekbone sort of comes in like so. Same on that side. And then the sideburns, hair spikes and things just here. Starts. because he's got pretty long hair. Doesn't have to be the same on both sides, but that's roughly what we're going for. And you can add some extra sort of lines coming around his eye, maybe. Just the lighter ones just there. All right, so then his hairline, right? So we just got the hairline kind of going up this way. And the, the top of the brow is the same as eyebrow to nose. Say the middle of the eyebrows to the nose is about the same as middle of the eyebrows to the top of his forehead. So we'll have this sort of his part in his hair. So it's kind of like at the corner here, but we have 
so say like this zigzag sort of space that goes across. Right, so say like his hair. So you got the part in his hair about here. Right, and then this zigzag kind of stuff goes across then. Out to the other side. And there is some hair that sticks down, but we'll just keep adding the hair coming down this way. Like so. So we can just see some of his ears in underneath his sideburns here, comes down to there, maybe down into there. And you'll have some ear lines. And maybe some lines just on the side of his head. Right, so that hair of his now, so okay, so big part in his hair here, right? So it goes like up and all around, right? So we go going this way, right? And this other side will go. This way, right? And you'll have bits of hair that kind of stick out and stuff. Right, it all kind of spirals down. The textures for this fringe of his is here. You could have like one coming down onto his head here. Right, that kind of thing. And then it goes, again, more sort of hair spikes, say, coming out the back here. And then eventually we'll go down. The back of his head. Down this one, all texture as well, if you want. And so this goes down, and then it'll eventually go behind his neck, sort of down here, so it kind of disappears down there. Right, and then this side, so we got like more hairlines and stuff going this way. Some hair sticking out here. Kind of bumps down, might stick out every now and then. We have real big hair now. And then some coming out here. And then it'll go down behind his collar on his neck. He's got like a big collar. It's pretty close to his ear. It's like a military grade vest he's wearing in this scene. So we'll put it like here. And this will go down sort of that way, right? So that's his collar. And then the hair kind of goes down behind that here.
see those texture lines and stuff on that. Okay, so. And you can keep going with this texture as much as you want. Like you can add loads of texture on the hair or less. He's got a collar on this side as well. It like goes down this way. It's kind of turned away on this side. Don't know how I feel about that tooth thing. I think I might get rid of it. Sorry now. <laughs> Changing as we go. I think better. I think it's better without us. That's just me. But it's your drawing, of course. And he might have like some. Lines just on his lips and sort of extra texture lines and stuff there. Okay, so his neck will keep going. So it's always fun drawing these kind of realistic characters. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I know they're hard, but. Maybe that's why it's so fun. So his neck comes down this way on that side and the neck on this side So it would kind of come down here, right? So it'll go so his head is kind of turned a little bit so it goes down diagonally That way Right, and then this becomes color on this side. So like color curves here and we meet a button up part here, which goes down behind a strap that's across his body, right? So all the colors kind of meet sort of in this section here. Like in there, right? And then we have like neck muscle and like Adam's apple there. And then of course he nearly had his head cut off, so we got to add this sort of scar. That goes around his neck. Okay, so that's one collar of his neck here, right? And there's another section of the collar goes, it comes out this way and goes down into there. So now he, his vest, right? That's pretty much his, a portrait of him. So that's done. I think that's the best I can do. So right, so you can maybe thicken up some of these edge lines of his hair and stuff if you want. Just clean things up a little bit. Do 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 Right, and then we'll go down and do the rest of his vest that he wears. So I'll just get my image, zoom in a bit. Too much zoomed in, zoom out, okay. So military grade style vest, right? So loads of straps and stuff and buttons and all this kind of stuff. So this has kind of like a stitching ed edge line here and then like a button there right 
And so this strap comes across, so it'll go like all the way across, right down this way. It's a double sort of strap that's holding on the axe over his shoulder. Okay, and this has a bit of like a buckle. Here, goes around. Yeah, it's got an inside section. Just there, and then this goes in behind. So center line kind of goes this way. And then there's another, he's got like another t-shirt on, I think underneath. Let's see it though. Okay, I'm gonna guess that it's, so if that's the collar, I'm gonna guess it's here. Like another t-shirt or something. And then some stitching going down here with another button. All right, and then this strap will go down off my page down there. He has another strap on his shoulder here. So another big strap coming down like this. Which meets, goes in behind another strap, which goes down behind that strap. <laughs> Straps behind straps, and then this has like a triangular sort of buckle here. It goes behind another, you guessed it, strap. This is where the phrase, he's strapped, comes from. Must be. And we'll just add some edge lines and some stitching and stuff coming down these. Just following your edge. There's like another buckle here. Like that. And some more sort of stitching lines and stuff here. Coming down that way. And then his shoulders stick out here quite wide. So it's like face width, right, for the shoulders. So the width of his face would bring you out to where his shoulder is. On a male, that's you have three heads that go across the shoulders. So one, two. That's roughly where his shoulder would be, okay? It's a good rule of thumb. And then his military vest goes down this way. And then his shoulder will just come out here and his arm will go off that way. And you could have some like full lines just there. Now he's got the American flag on his arm. Freedom. <laughs> it's got a yellow band around it. And stars and stripes. And I'll just do it the simple way, just like this with a black line. Of course, you can color it red, white, and blue if you want. Like that, and then there's another crest here. Like so. All right, we'll go over now and do the other shoulder. So there's more straps and stuff on this side as well. So, buckle that goes around the back of his shoulder, sort of here, right? And comes around this way. It's got some lines and stuff on it there. And then his shoulder seems to curve down this way and his arm goes out there. And then this has more straps. Another V-like strap, like this kind of thing. Right, you can see less of it. And it goes in behind this strap here. Which goes down off my page that way. You got like another strap here. And I think he's another crest on his shoulder here. The yellow edge.
Right, and then this strap goes up in behind that one. Maybe some, like another vest line or something here. And a zip or zipper, as you say in the States, on this side. Some lines coming down for that. And then the inside of the jacket, and another stitching line there. And then his shoulder kind of goes in here, but this strap comes out and kind of folds around the back here. Like so. And you can have like a line coming across here and a stitching line there. Just to add some weight to this edge. Like that. And then we give an edge to this belt buckle sort of thing, strap going that way. And on, on sort of semi realistic characters like this, I do like to thicken up my edge lines. just something I like to do so that's him pretty much and we got his axe then right so it goes we're just going to add it sort of back here curves that way that way All right so this is the wooden part so you could add like lines like that and then the actual head of the axe curves it's a double headed one so it curves that way and then it'll go like around like that both sides and then this will go down that and maybe the blade section will be here like so right but I think that that's the best I can do that is how to draw Steve Harrington from Stranger Things Season 4. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.